Now let's talk about the first refrigeration cycle that is the reversed Carnot cycle. Now Carnot cycle was a heat engine cycle. If you reverse it, it becomes a reverse Carnot cycle because Carnot cycle in itself is a reversible cycle. And the reverse Carnot cycle is used for the refrigeration cycles. Okay. So these are the four processes that are happening again to isentropic and to isothermal. So process 3 to 4 this is adiabatic or isentropic compression because the pressure is increasing and the volume is decreasing. So let's write it down. So 3 to 4 it is isentropic compression. Okay. So you would be providing some work input during this process. Okay. Now 4 to 1. Now what happens after compressor? It goes into the condenser. So you will have phase change from vapor to liquid and that has to be at a constant temperature. So this is what happens. Okay. So 4 to 1 is isothermal heat rejection and the heat rejected is QH okay <coughs> so this is QH which is being rejected into the atmosphere now 1 to 2 it is expanding in the expansion valve so this would be isentropic expansion there is no perceivable benefit of it because there is no work output from this expansion so we leave it as it is and because it is isentropic there is no heat interaction as well so now if we come to 2 to 3 after the expansion was complete it goes into the evaporator and here it absorbs heat so this is isothermal heat absorption which is QL okay so you will have heat addition over here you will have heat rejection over here okay so the heat absorption is also called the refrigeration effect now if you find out QL or RE this would be equal to now this is happening at TL and we know that S1 is equal to S2 and S3 is equal to S4 okay so this will become TL into S1 minus or you can say S3 minus S2 okay and heat added equal to again S3 minus S2 but at high temperature okay now the work input is the difference in these two heats so it becomes QH minus QL TH minus TL into okay now we have the value of QH and we have the value of WN and we have the value of heat absorbed now the COP of reversed Carnot cycle okay, is equal to the heat absorbed upon work input so this would become QL is equal to TL into S3 minus S2 divided by TH minus TL into S3 minus S2. So you can strike off these two entropy changes. 
So the COP, the COP of the reversed Carnot cycle, this would become TL by TH minus TL. Okay. So this is how we, uh, you know, analyze the reversed Carnot cycle. Now after this, in the next video, we talk about the reversed Brayton cycle or Bell-Colvin cycle.